everybody, I'm Rebecca. Hi, I'm Sarah. And we are showing you this month how to use some different things from the math kit. We have the pan balance that we went ahead and set up. We have some foam number magnets. We also have some Unifix cubes. We have the grams that came with your balance. And then we also have the color sorting bowls. And don't forget, I know Allison's not here, but this is her favorite from the unboxing video, the tray. That tray is so important to be able to whoop, move around and carry around pivotal, pivotal tool from the math. And you can have everything already prepped before your students come into the classroom. So what we're going to do today is this thing is a little temperamental with us. So we have to make sure that it's staying balanced, but that's okay. Um, we have from the ULS lesson um, in the intermediate band, we have some comparing numbers problems. So the very first one is just a chart that we can use to go over kind of the vocabulary. Um, so talking about um, bigger than, also greater than, um, smaller, less. Um, so reviewing those vocabulary words with your students and then actually going through and comparing them. And we thought it would be a great tool to use the hand balance to be able to visually represent that greater than and less than. And you also have the manipulatives for greater than, less than, and equal to inside of your phone kit too. So we specifically pulled those ones out because we wanted to be able to just have those to quickly put on there um, after we solve the problem. So we could use, um, just going over the very first problem, um, we're comparing the numbers eight and four. So we notice. So we have some different things that you can do. You have your grams in here, which these say five, we have 10 and then these are 20. So you could tell your students, okay, these blue ones, they're one. So you can count out like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Emily has eight apples. And, and then, then Chris has four. One, two, three, four. So then which one is bigger? <gasps> this one, yes. it's going down, it's bigger, it's greater than. And then we can use our symbol, our magnetic symbol, to show that eight, remember all, we all learned about that alligator, the alligator wants to eat what's more, is greater than the four. We did realize too, as we were um, kind of playing around with this, that you kind of have to reset the balance at some point. So sometimes, even if you have that eight at first, I'm gonna add five more, ooh, really tricky. Um, sometimes it wasn't consistently resetting as quickly and as obviously. So if you kind of finagle it a little bit here and then it'll go down, it'll actually show you, you know, the, which one is bigger. Um, but we were playing with the Unifix cubes and it wasn't working as accurately. Um, so just keep that in mind. Sometimes, oh, mistakes happen. Let's reset that um, and plan for that. Sometimes right. that happens. I think two of these are a little lighter, so it makes a difference. Yeah. So then we're going to reset. So then we come over to our actual problem. So you probably reviewed the vocabulary, went through the practice problems with your class, and now it's going on into work time. And so we have the next problem, 18 and 14 are the two numbers that we are comparing. So we might not have, like in that yellow bowl, we don't have 18 of those um, grams in there. And so instead, we figured we'd use our Unifix cubes. Yeah, so this would be a good time to get your Unifix cubes out. So the first one, 18, so we can already say, okay, well, one whole stick is 10, so we have 10. And then let's count up eight more to get 18. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have 18. And then I'm gonna make 14. And again, I know there's one 10 in 14. So I'll go ahead and drop that one in there. And then four ones. And so Sarah pulled them off individually. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four and pull it off just to show that there's multiple ways that you can build those numbers. Um, and then let's just check it just in case. Oh, yep. This one is greater than or bigger because it's heavier and it's going down. So then I've got my symbol, that one's bigger, and then I can use the same symbol on my worksheet 
to show that 18 is greater than 14. We got that alligator, chomp, chomp, chomp. And I love, Sarah, on this worksheet, how at the very top they put that reminder of the symbol on there. So this one is greater than. This side means less than. So as your students are reading that off, you can kind of visually prompt them um, to go back to that language greater than so that they're using that language and moving past bigger and smaller into more of that math vocabulary. And then you might have some other manipulatives just around your classrooms that you can use as long as everything equals the same weight. Some of your classrooms, you might just have some of those um, sorting bears and you could use the sorting bears. You could use little blocks. I know sometimes you might have those little color cubes in your room that you could use in there. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can go about it too. You could use even money and use pennies if you have a bunch of pennies and do things like that as well outside of just your math kit. I love that. And then also <laughs> like in my class, I know I had tens and ones, like those little orange, orange, orange ones. Um, and so that could be an easy thing. And like literally the next page after this one was talking about um, place value with hundreds, tens and ones. So you could easily take what you have with those hundreds, tens, and ones, and then pull them out and put them into that HTO chart to really break down what that number is and really reiterate like that number sense and those number skills. So we hope you enjoyed our video. Like and subscribe. Hashtag CobsFed to show us how you're using all of the manipulatives that we showed you today. And we hope you have a wonderful time in your next math lesson. Bye.